Hey you skellywags! Is there now too much 118 scale released? Covering the 118 toy news on my channel, there's recently been no shortage of new releases, which wasn't always the case. Now we can't go two weeks without hearing some new news or releases. And my recent acquisitions here are just a sample size of the most recent in 118. So is there an overabundance of 118 now? And could I be getting figure fatigue? Shut up and sit down. So we'll be going through a few of my recent acquisitions. Some of these will be getting videos of their own. Some of them may not. Adding on to the pile of other videos that I should be doing very soon. So let me know in the comments which of these, if any, you'd like to see videos and more deep dive into. All right, let's get into this. This is Boba Fett from the very mediocre Book of Boba Fett, Tuscan version, with his soft goods, which is actually pretty good. Turned out very well, and uh, even has a uh, dirt uh, for realistic effects. Just like in the show. The show was pretty dirt and not very good. And underneath is really why I got this figure in uh, sort of all black there. Remove the hood. And the head is a very nice head sculpt of Boba. Helmet from previous iterations of Boba Fett fits on nicely, which is what I wanted to check out. He looks decent. And the hood bit here, I, I thought would go over, but I forgot about this little antenna bit or whatever it is. That visor thing that comes down where, yeah. Anyway, that bit is in the way. But yeah, do that. I had tried it without the soft goods, and it doesn't look as good as I had hoped it would. But I may try and do something with it. Still, I'm glad I got it. It is still relatively inexpensive compared to the other stuff I get. These are the Knights Hospitallers from Joy Toy and are, spoilers, probably the best army builder set this year so far. This uh, belt thing they all have and they all look the same which I didn't like so I've had to try and make them look a bit more unique. They can hold their guns very well though, look at that, shouldering it. This guy here, I removed his belt and skirting. It does leave a bit of residue here on the right side, so be aware of that. Legs. Yeah, we'll check out this one here. Can still move around even with this. It's a soft plastic skirting bit, so you can still move it around. Doesn't hinder it any, in any way. There's this lovely reflective red they use for the visor and other parts uh, on the figure. You get a bit of white paper and photograph that with that on the bottom. You'll get some really nice shots. Ugly knees here, but works well. And it's all right for an android or guy in a robot suit, I suppose. Wrists can pop out if you don't heat it up. So heat up your wrist joints so they don't pop out like that. Otherwise, it'll be like a here figure which you don't want but otherwise very nice to pose about with oh yeah the uh, scabbard bit um you have to put around the left shoulder first underneath the pauldron pull this off go to underneath and you can get it on because it's a bit difficult to get around over the head and backpack part i found it's easier to remove the body bit to get it on otherwise it looks decent like that i couldn't find any other way see look at that heats up your joints your your hands or whatever and it will stay on yeah very nice figures i've tried to make him a bit more individual it looks brilliant so this guy, the belt fell off, and that was what gave me the idea, really, to make them more individual. Gave him pistols. 
this sword here as well. So you do kind of want it this way because of the, the way the strap is there. That's how it kind of falls more naturally on the back. Um, but there are like I think six pistols, four that are all the same and two different. I've given him all the pistols. He's a pistol whipping loving fella. And this guy, I took off his um, things as well. He's got a gripping hand, unlike the new uh, Joy Toy Intercessors. This gripping hand is actually used to grip the gun, specifically like that. So you can hold it and shoot enemies and other factions that aren't Panoshiana. Oh yeah, the, the knees here look... So if you just do that, you're just going to get like 90 basically. But if you put it back down that way, you can get it even further up. See, so very, very nice to pose about when you know, you know, the limitations of the figure. Got chunky thighs. Yeah, some people aren't sure about the look of it, but I love, I love these guys. The shoulders here obviously hindered. Um, but you can still move them around somewhat. These are kind of rubbery. Move out of the way a bit. And there's a lovely movement of the waist there and stuff. But yeah, very. I've been playing with these a lot more than I thought I would. I'm thoroughly enjoying posing them. I will be doing a video of these guys as well as the other uh, three figures I've got from Pana Oceana. I've got uh, another one on the way, the new one, and I'll also get the other uh, figure. Awesome action towards us. Right, he's got a lovely detailed butt. These holsters are huge though. They're kind of getting away a little bit. Rather a bit smaller. Otherwise, great great little set here and here are a couple more tempestus scions from joy toys warhammer 40k this guy uh, was from the first lot with this gun we'll go through the problems with that in a moment the base buck really is just the same as tempesta prime so not much difference the head is different though mast head can move quite well these arms are yeah, hindered by the uh What's it called? The armor on the, uh, the shoulders, of course. But a nice little buck. So this gun, um, you kind of have to bend the strap around here, like that. And you can fit in this, into this little hand. These hands are smaller than the other guys. It's a bit awkward. Fits on, but doesn't stay on. And then this hand, I've just sort of got him to grab the strap to be able to hold the gun like that. As it doesn't fit underneath and it doesn't stretch out enough for it to support the gun, unfortunately. So you kind of have to fake it like that and yeah, him holding the, the strap will have him uh, shoulder the weapon. And this is the medic guy with a two-toned uh, skin colour there. His head is different to his uh, neck and hands. And he's got this little bag. And his gun here, which I like with a chainsaw, like Gears of War. Or Gears of War is like full, full Warhammer 40k, really. So pretty much, you know, similar stuff that we've seen. He'll join the, uh, the three-man team I'll have uh, of the Scions including Tempesta Prime. This is the Army Builder Intercessor for the Space Wolves. It's nice reflective lenses that they're doing now which looks great on their figures. He's probably the best representation of an Intercessor that I've got so far. Better than the UM version for some reason. Feels better in hands. This knife thing comes out, 
and stays on there even though it looks floppy. We've done well there. Got this gun. You can take out the uh, the mag. There we go. Chainsword here, knuckle duster bit there, double sided chainsword. And just poses really well, better, feels better than the uh, UM one. I don't know if it's to do with the paint apps. But this guy can be an army builder or just a unique character if you like. I think uh, I'll, because of all my uh, space wolves and doing something different to. Each of the ones I get, he will be a, uh, a unique character in my Space Wolves pack that I'm building. If I were Joy Toy, I would push the marketing on these guys, particularly uh, this uh, Intercessor, to showcase exactly what they can do with the Warhammer 40k license to get others on board with the franchise they so yeah, are very very good uh figure as a standalone or as part of a, an army builder from the ultramarines hellblasters this is brother alexis sergeant alexis cable of uh, warhammer 40k see his face here with that robotic left eye screaming something that doesn't look too great looks a bit off-centered huge guns these side skirting is actually more to the front which is actually what it's supposed to be like and here that moves around like that don't think the technarine one did this huge gun is attached to the power pack there's a little bits here. I'm getting more used to this matte plain blue they're using. Oh yeah, mine was broken here. It, like the, the glue was, it came off from the top bit, so I had to glue it back. And it, yeah, there was a load of uh, issues I had to deal with after gluing it because the glue got stuck to the figure, and I had to yeah. Anyway, it's fixed now and works uh, well. You can hold his guns very well. Unlike the previous hands 2.0, it's pretty, pretty cool. Again, the cable of Warhammer 40k and the Ultramarines. Ultramarines Primaris Chaplain Brother Varus, in all his skelly glory. So this guy is Chaplain, just like the Terminator version, and mine has got a decent paint apps on the head not the best i know ac studio had issues with his unfortunately um nice little detail here on these bits look and it's a soft really soft plastic very very nice how George have uh, accomplished that this belt thing i had to put underneath the book here and so the bit so it's not all over the place so now i can move this around a lot better than i was able to before Nice soft plastic here too. Skulls. Do a video of him at some point. Unique legs as well. Not seen these legs before. It's gone. Varus. There are skeletons of skulls that adorn him. All everywhere, even there. Look, this little bit. This bit is the worst bit of it. It's a hard plastic. Book here doesn't pop off. It's good. Altogether, just an all-round better action figure than the Terminator version. You can pose him uh, a lot better. Look at this lateral raise. See, no issues there. Like with the Terminator, so you can do a lot more dynamic poses with him. With no issues. Obviously, there's bits that are going to get in the way due to the nature of the design. But George have done a great job with utilising a lot of uh, soft plastics. So I think it's going to get out of the way. He's got lovely knees there. Not the ugly ones. 
Don't bend too much though. But he looks great. And yeah, you could just change the shoulder pauldron if you want to put a different faction instead. Representing the Grey Knights is Grandmaster Valdis. A lot of people will complain about the uh, unhelmeted head, but I think this is actually one of the best unhelmeted heads we've got from Joy Toy and 40k. In fact, maybe the best. Would have been good if he had a helmet too, but can't complain with that head. The looker. In fact, all around him. Probably one of the better looking Grey Knights. This is a bit hard, but a softer bit there, which is strange. So the cloth is softer, but... Hammer is a... Uh, Good as well, same as uh, Vobova, but a variation on it. Nice detail here. Little book attached, and this bigger book. This Bible of sorts. Just likes to carry around with him. But as with the other Grey Knights, some brilliant detail here. Better than the ones we got before. This, the cauldrons, you can move a bit more as well. Um, but it's still it's hindered for the lateral raise. There's just so much going on. But I will do a video on him and compare with the other Grey Knights as well. But for a big boy, he can uh, move a bit, quite a bit. Despite his uh, limitations. Can get him to hold it with two hands, his hammer. Yeah, these pauldrons you do have to fix up quite a bit because they move around quite a lot unlike the uh, the other Terminator Grey Knights. They've changed the design of that for the better, I think, but they are a bit looser. But he looks so good. Look at that. Valdus. And last, certainly not least, from Acid Rain World, Omanga is Bernard or Bernard really love this design and everything you see here is what you'll get in the box and he's storing everything and he's not even holding any weapons so everything can be stored on his person which for me is something I really appreciate this can be removed and in the promo pixel was actually this way, oriented that way, but it is leaning a bit. But if you turn it the other way, the little bit that protrudes doesn't get in the way, so it can sit flush like that and fits perfectly that way. So this is a variation on the Omanga buck. This gun can unfold and fit in this hand. And it fits in differently at kind of angle, but it helps with shouldering the weapon. So there you see. Very good at shouldering his weapon, looking down the sights there, and down the uh, gun. Probably the best at holding his weapon. These two guns stored with the silencers on the side. It's got these knives that can come out. Very nice design. Body can move underneath this. This uh, mask bit can be removed as well. Just pop off the head if you like. I have that on there. The head turned out a lot better than it did in the promo pics, actually. Quite well, like how it turned out. So you just have to pop it on there and align it. Pop it back on. So these can move. Oh, he's got lateral raise that goes all the way up there. Again, they've made cuts on the shoulder pad. Butterfly. The straps here slightly hinder what's normally beautiful uh, torso articulation for this Geist or Variation Geist Buck. Be aware of how the belt works. There are actually tabs on the side here which you can align so everything fits nicely. Like that. And then the belt can go down like that. 
Oh yeah, these can move, which is great. There's little pins that allow them to articulate. So when you're moving the legs up, it can get out of the way. So the Geist and Strength of Ved were my favorite figures of last year. And this for me is probably the best Acid Rain World release this year. Definite improvement over the other Omanga Buck of Gauntlet and the Black Sand Squad. And he just looks so badass. Can hold all his weapons and store them. It looks so cool. Uh, still yet to get Ratko, so need to find him somewhere uh, too. But a video I'll be doing of this guy soon as well. So, do I have figure fatigue? I think what I do have actually is work fatigue. If I didn't have to work, then I can have more time to play with these wonderful toys. So as long as we keep getting cracking figures like some of these, then I think there's very little fear of fatigue for myself. There is far too much coming out, but I like to pick and choose. Unfortunately, for some of you who are completionists, that may be a problem. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Check the affiliate links below to support the channel. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. For more content, subscribe. And I'll scale you later.